Welcome back to Trigger Time TV. I'm your host, Mike Lamb. In this next segment, Jim Gilliland is going to talk to us about some critical things we need to know. Take it away, Jim. Hey, folks, Jim Gilliland here from Shadow Six. Today, we're going to talk over some maintenance stuff. Now, honestly, I'm probably one of the world's worst people if you talk about how to maintain your rifles. Because when I shoot, I don't normally clean until I start seeing a degradation of accuracy. However, you always want to come back to a certain level of uh, cleanliness and a baseline. Now, when we were doing things over in Iraq and, and even in Afghanistan, we learned a lot of key lessons about when and how you really need to clean your rifles. Now, when you're trusting these things for your life, then I definitely take a lot better care of them. But when I'm sitting on a range and I'm just getting some groups for accuracy, then I probably don't clean them as much as I should. So, and that being said, um, here's how I do it when I do it. Let's start off and make sure that we're, we're safe, everything's good. There's no ammunition, we're gonna remove the bolt. Now, what I'm gonna do with this is I'm gonna take some uh, gun cleaner and I'm just gonna spray on it and let it sit for a while and I'm gonna take that and sit it just off to the side. The next thing I'm gonna do is go ahead and start cleaning my barrel because this is actually the most time consuming piece of any of this uh, that we're gonna talk about today. Now these are precision grade barrels, they cost a lot of money, um, and it takes a long time for you to actually get your rifle, so you need to protect it as much as possible. You take this board guide and set, insert it into the chamber like this, and what that's gonna do is as you're trying to slide your rod in, it's gonna keep from dinging up inside the chamber here. All right, I'm gonna take my rod, and you see I've got a little eyelet right here. Um, I'm gonna put a cleaning patch through that, and I'm gonna take my bore solvent and put some bore solvent on there and run through and get the bore real wet and then come out and then I'm just going to take that off and let it sit. This is going to sit for about two to five minutes and while I'm doing that I'm going to come back to my bolt. I'm just going to take a, uh, a you know just a dry cloth I'm going to wipe that off. I'm going to take a little toothbrush I'm going to scrub that in there and a little, take a special attention to this little AR type extractor that our brothers used on this and just make sure I get all the brass out of that and that way I have a, a good controlled um, ejection. Now, when I'm done with that, it should be plenty of time to come back into the barrel. Now, there's two other pieces I use on my cleaning rod uh, for different applications. If I have been shooting my gun quite a bit and I need to get that extra good clean, I'm gonna take a nylon brush and put it on here and run back and forth. Now, one of the things I make sure that I do when I'm using my brushes for nylon or if I'm lapping a barrel, I use a little piece, uh, a little stopper like this. And what that does is when I place my my uh, clean rod in, I run to the end of it, whatever I'm using comes just out of the barrel but it doesn't come, come out far enough to um, move. And that way I can pull it right back out and I know I haven't hurt the crown of my rifle. So that's a, another good little tool. Now the jags that I use when I'm actually mopping these things out is I use this type of jag with little teeth on it. Put a patch on, roll it up, and I'm going to push it through until it comes out. I'm going to remove the patch until I have clean, dry patches. I'm going to use a new one every time. And again, when I'm pulling this back through, I'm going to make sure that I control that so I'm not dragging it on the bottom of that crown. Now, <clears throat> once I'm done with that, I go in and get my torquing devices, whether it be this T-handle torquing device or, a, or a, just a regular screwdriver kind, and I'm going to torque all my stuff back down. Usually it's about 50 to 60 pounds for the receiver to the stock, and it's about 18 pounds for your rings, just to make sure I'm still good and that nothing's moving around for me. Give me that baseline that I'm looking for. Now, for copper stuff, when I break in a gun, I usually use some copper cleaner, but after that, I'll shoot quite a few rounds before I'll ever really think about putting copper cleaner in here, just because I don't feel that uh, it's that necessary. I've never seen the accuracy degradation from it, so I never really use it. Now, going to rifles like the, the AR platforms, the auto guns, um, they're cleaned pretty much the exact same way. You pull them apart, you put the, some cleaner down the barrel, and I'll take, spend some time on the bolt, and then I'll finish the barrel up, I'll put them back together. The only tool I use that's extra in that is this little lug recess device, and this thing saves me a lot of time. I'll put a little, it looks like a cigarette butt patch in there, and I'll close it, slide it down inside the chamber, I'll pop it in there, and clean it up. And that thing works really well, it saves me a lot of time. Once you get done, Make sure you send your, put your rifle back into uh, you know, a baseline, and then uh, you should have many, many more years of uh, good shooting out of them. The biggest thing about them is, if you're going to be shooting for accuracy, when you start seeing your accuracy degrade, and it's not you, 
it's probably time to clean your barrel up good. All right, that's something to pay attention for. You take care of these rifles, they'll take care of you. This is Jim Gillen, Shadow Six. You guys hunt smart.